of thought from the late Mississippi writer Eudora Welty fits so well our theme today of looking back with pride, looking forward with confidence. She wrote that as we remember, we discover, and as we discover, we remember, and most intensely do we experience this when our separate journeys converge. Well, Pat, we're delighted that we've discovered each other and that our journeys will converge for the future of books. Thank you. You can see that we've been rejoined by the chorus and the Robert Dale Corral. And in a few minutes, we will ask the audience to rise for the alma mater. But before that, Pat, we have a special moment planned for you. When we quizzed Amy about the most meaningful events in your education life, she quickly shared with us how memorable was your study abroad experience at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. That prompted the installation steering committee to contact St. Andrews to learn of the music that is traditionally performed at their academic ceremonies. In tribute to your time at St. Andrews, the chorus and the Robert Dale Corral will perform for us in Gaudiamus Digitor, translated from the Latin, So Let Us Rejoice, based on a Latin manuscript dating back to 1287. Dr. Thomas, the chorus, and the Robert Dale Corral.
Please remain standing. We're pleased with the Reverend Janelle Wigan, co-pastor of the Good Shepherd in St. John's Lutheran Churches in Wilkesboro, will deliver our benediction. Reverend Wigan. Let us pray. O oh God, author of life, as you gather together the waters to form this masterpiece of creation, planet Earth, we thank you for gathering all who are assembled this day as together we celebrate this new chapter in the history of Wilkes University under the able leadership of Dr. Patrick F. Leahy. These ideals of innovation and creativity, we know, oh God, that they are inspired by your spirit. And as Wilkes University looks back with pride and looks forward with confidence with President Leahy at the helm, may the knowledge that is taught and learned at this institution for higher learning inspire the staff and faculty and student body and all of us who serve this community of Wilkes-Barre to see beyond the world as it is, so as to struggle for the world as it should be, a world where your values of mercy and service and justice are not just something that we talk about or reflect about or are distant, uh, ideals, but that we might work together to make those ideals a living reality in this world that you call us to serve. And it is so pro profound as a pastor to see that service happening from the students uh, of Wilkes University. In your name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the academic recessional, which brings to a close this installation ceremony. You're cordially invited to join us for the reception honoring President and Mrs. Leahy and their family in the lobby of the FM Kirby Center. Those in the academic session will join you at the reception. Our sincere thanks to all who have joined us today to celebrate the beginning of a new chapter at Wilkes University. Patrick, we have one final thought to share with you this afternoon. Since last spring, we've heard you speak again and again about your affection for the late Father Timothy Healy, who served with distinction as president of Georgetown University and the New York Public Library. Further reinforced so eloquently today in Father Pilar's speech. As Father Pilar did today, you've described the transformational influence Father Ely had on you as your freshman poetry professor at Georgetown, and that he was the first person who suggested to you the blessings and rewards that come with a career in higher education. As you leave this theater this afternoon, now installed as the sixth president of Wilkes University, we want you to know and always remember that Father Healy's Irish eyes are always smiling on you. <laughs> <laughs>